Next, I'm going to insert some text. And uh, this time I'm going to demonstrate how Dreamweaver has improved. In the past, it was very difficult to insert text from uh, Microsoft resources because of the amount of coding that came with the Microsoft documents. But I'm just going to open up a sample of text here. And uh, I got this from a, a website. So I'm just going to grab that. I'll just grab a paragraph, actually. I'll just grab two paragraphs will do. Control C for copy or right click and choose copy. Then I go back to Dreamweaver and here I'm going to delete this bit of text. And with the cursor flashing, I'm going to choose paste special. And I could choose text only, text with structure, text with formatting, and text with structure plus full formatting. So in this case, I'm going to do text with structure, clean up the word paragraph spacing. And now if we go to our browser, well, save it first. And we refresh. We can see that it's actually bumped down to the bottom. So what I'm going to do is try to force it to go up into that area by reducing the width of the div. So I come back to my style sheet. And I think down here it was called the home text. And I'm going to edit that part there. So I'm going to go onto the CSS thing, the home text. And I'm going to reduce the width of that. I'm going to, instead of making that auto, I'm going to make it, say, 300 pixels, 200 pixels. Save the changes and see how it's affected the text. So at the moment, it's down there. We'll press refresh and now it's grabbing the left. Now, of course, that's a bit narrow, so I can tweak that and make it a bit wider. Home text. Uh, properties, that's that, home text, perhaps I'll make that 500 pixels. Again, I'm just going to save it, come back to my browser and refresh. And you start to get the feeling of how we can manipulate the text in a position. While I'm at it, I might actually choose to do something about the text. So, for example, I could choose to make it an aerial font, something like that, a nice uh, sans font. Let's try this one. And we'll save again. And I'm going to go to my browser and see what it looks like by refreshing. Okay, so that gives you an idea of how we can start to manipulate our design.